Now let's discuss about the preparation of halorines or aryl halides. Aryl halides are the general formula of aromatic ring with the halogens. So this halogen molecule, it can be a halogen atom, it can be a fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine. How do you prepare these halorines? We can prepare it from the benzene ring by doing the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. That means if I react the benzene molecule with any of the halogen molecules like the Cl2, okay, so I can replace from the benzene any one hydrogen atom here, okay, and get the chlorobenzene. We can replace the hydrogen by the chlorine. So what do you get? Is the chlorobenzene plus HCl. The hydrogen loss from here will react with another chlorine form as HCl. And normally the reaction is, is being carried out in presence of any Lewis acid like AlCl3, a very common uh, Lewis acid used for the re reactions. This is actually an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction because here we remove the hydrogen as H positive 2 from the ring by an electrophile Cl positive. So it is the electrophile Cl positive that replaces the hydrogen from the ring. So that means we get an electrophile Cl positive from here and that can replace the hydrogen that can substitute the hydrogen from the ring. That's why we call it this reaction as an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So this is electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction which is an EAS reaction electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. And what is the mechanism of a reaction here? Okay, Let's uh, see the what, what is the mechanism. For any electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, we know there are the two important steps. Number one is that we need to generate electrophile always, right? So, so like we have a Cl positive, you need to generate electrophile from the Cl positive. So here also the same thing, right? So the first step is generation of generation of electrophile. So we have to generate electrophile. The second step is the uh, very important uh, next step, right, is the attack of this electrophile. Once the electrophile has been uh, formed, it attacks on the ring, right, okay, you know, attack of electrophile on the benzene ring. And then the third, replacement of the hydrogen from the ring, okay, then the replacement of hydrogen as H pods do from the ring. So let's uh, see the mechanism of this, you know, uh, the reaction here. How do we generate the Cl positive from the chlorine molecule? The first step, as we know, in any electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction is in any AS reaction is here. This is the chlorination. So first step is the generation of electrophile. So the electrophile will be generated from the chlorine molecule. We know there is a chlorine chlorine single bond and every chlorine atom has lone pair of electrons there also, right. So it reacts with the aluminium AlCl3 which is a Lewis acid. Lewis acid is actually what? It is an electron pair acceptor. The Cl2 molecule has electron pairs available so it will act as a base, Lewis base. So it will form actually a coordinate bond with the aluminium because aluminium can accept electron pairs so it is a Lewis acid. Any Lewis acid which you can act, you know, any molecule which can accept electron pair is a Lewis acid. So then the chlorine form is a bond with aluminum and then finally this bond breaks with both electrons going to this chlorine and what do you get? You get the AlCl4 negative here plus this chlorine since it has lost electron you get the Cl positive. So we got the electrophile here. And the second point is the same electrophile will attack on the ring, on the benzene ring. In the benzene ring, 
as we know all the carbon hydrogen atoms are equivalent all the carbon positions are equivalent so let's take this one is a site of attack of the electrophile otherwise all the positions in the benzene are equivalent you know it can attack on any of the carbon atoms right now once it attacks here on the carbon so it forms a bond with the carbon basically the pi electrons pi electrons from the ring okay it's like this suppose we have uh, the cl pos2 that approaches the it approaches the the double you know the the benzene we have a double bond here the pi bond which is actually here it shifts in the direction of the cl pos2 okay the pi electron shifts in this direction it forms a bond with this and now this chlorine is neutral and you get a positive charge on the ortho position and then due to the resonating structures you know you can find the different canonical structures here right for this positive charge the positive charge on the ortho position it will be delocalized by, by the ring you know when this electron pair shifts here it will go here it goes here and it will go here so that means this positive charge will be delocalized over the para and the ortho positions but now that is the resonance right but now in from this intermediate actually we need what we need the chlorobenzene okay so how is that generated then after this you know intermediate has been formed okay the carbocation intermediate the hydrogen is lost as h plus as h plus and electron pairs they enter inside the ring form a double bond and then what do you get you get the chlorobenzene plus h pos2 then the third step is the same h pos2 ion here which is formed in the second step it reacts with the alcl4 negative because we know the alcl4 you know alcl3 is a catalyst and we have to regenerate the catalyst again so the al uh, cl4 negative reacts with h plus it releases the h negative that reacts you know cl negative that reacts with h plus forms the hcl and you get the alcl3 catalyst back okay so this is the one product this is another one right this is the chlorobenzene this is hcl and you get lcl3 this is how actually the chlorobenzene is formed right from here so the first step is formation of electrophile second step is attack of electrophile and the third step is third step is the regeneration of a catalyst back so if you uh, react to the chlorine molecule with the benzene you get the chlorobenzene right and it's here now if you uh, react to this molecule uh, again with the chlorine suppose that means if you have an excess of uh, if you react it with the excess of uh, you know this chlorine then you know again one more chlorine will attack on the ring right one more chlorine will attack on the ring but now the chlorination will occur at the ortho and the para positions only it will not attack the cl pos2 which is actually generated from here now second attack will not be at the meta not the meta positions because so the chlorine uh, electrophile will attack at the ortho and the para positions so you get the dichloro you know benzene with chlorination at ortho and another chlorine at the para position because chlorine this chlorine molecule is ortho para directing group right this is ortho para directing group so you get two products ortho chlorobenzene para chlorobenzene out of the two this is the major product while this one is the minor product because this is here the chlorine atoms are closer so more steady hindrances so less stability at the para positions the distance is more so this is more stable so groups here are close so less stable that's why this is a minor product and this is a major product second method of preparing of aryl halide is from the diazonium salts from the benzene diazonium salts we can easily prepare the aryl halides we can replace the nitrogen from the ring by reacting with it with the hcl and the copper chloride this reaction mixture it replaces the nitrogen here from the ring 
and what do you get? You get the chlorobenzene plus two nitrogen atoms are lost as N2 as the nitrogen gas. Right? So two nitrogen atoms are lost here as the nitrogen gas. Benzene diazerum salt is actually prepared from aniline. It's not easy to carry out a nucleophilic substitution reaction from the aniline. You know, it's difficult to break the bond here by a nucleophile to get the chlorobenzene, right? Suppose if you want to prepare the chlorobenzene from here, okay, you cannot replace the Cl negative, cannot replace this nitrogen. Why? Because nitrogen has a lone pair electron and that's under resonance. So, because of the resonance, there, there is some kind of a double bond character in aniline. So, because of the double bond character here, it is difficult to break the bond between nitrogen and the carbon here. So, substitution reaction is not possible over here right now. That is why first we change the aniline into the diazotism salt and the diazotization process, you know this is called as the diazotization process to change aniline into the diazotism salt. And in the benzene diazotism salt and the nitrogen, this particular nitrogen does not have a lone pair electron that it can undergo delocalization with this. That is why now you can break this bond easily. Okay, because of the positive charge on the nitrogen, the carbon, nitro, carbon nitrogen bond, you can break easily by any of the nucleophiles. Okay, so this is basically a nucleophilic substitution reaction. This reaction is a is called as a Sandmeier reaction. Okay, this is a Sandmeier reaction, right? Sandmeier reaction. So Sandmeier reaction is preparation of the chlorobenzene or the bromobenzene from the benzene diazerum salt by treating it with the uh, copper chloride and HCl, right? In HCl. Or you can also do it with the copper bromide dissolved in the HBr, right? So this is the Sandme reaction, okay? We can also prepare the same compound, the chlorobenzene, again. from the benzene diazerum salt but right now we can use a different you know uh, reagent here for the conversion of a benzene diazerum salt in the in, into chlorobenzene or bromobenzene we can use uh, the HCl and the copper only right HCl and the copper that is called this reaction is a Gutterman reaction right this is called as a Gutterman reaction okay so basically in the Sandmeier reaction and the Gutterman reaction, re starting compound and the final product, both are same, only the reagents are different, right? So, there is a difference in the reagents. Okay, so you, in, in both cases, you get chlorobenzene and the bromobenzene, but if you take HCl and the copper chloride, this is Sandmeier reaction. If you take only the copper HCl and the copper only, that is the Gutterman reaction, right? Okay, fine. Now, if you want to get iodobenzene, you know, you can, you can get the iodo compound also, right? Suppose you want to get the iodobenzene. You can get the iodobenzene as well by treating this molecule, this again the you know, the benzene diazerum salt with the potassium iodide, Ki. Okay, potassium iodide, I, I negative, it can replace the nitrogen as N2 gas, right? So, you can, again, you get the nitrogen gas here, which will be replaced from here and you also get the potassium chloride. Correct. So that means you can prepare the aryl halides from the benzene diazerum salts. The nitrogen can be easily now replaced by any nucleophile. Okay, by any of the nucleophile. Even the water molecule can. You know, if you react to the same molecule, if you react to, react to the benzene diazerum salt with the water, the water can replace the nitrogen, and you get the phenol. You also get. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.